when we talk about the fertility journey, if you haven't been through it, it's it's tough to understand because it's, it's, it's some people look, some people have it easy and they just get pregnant and they have babies and it's all, but then there's those of us who might have a little bit more trouble, whether it be trouble conceiving or if we've had a miscarriage or whatever it may be. And it's heartbreaking, truly heartbreaking. And the answer that I have for you is a spiritual answer. Big Daddy. show today, guys. Happy to be with you. Gabrielle Bernstein, a role model for a new generation of spiritual seekers. I mean, Mallory, 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 what's up, girl? Oh, okay. Um, it just was, I'm sure with, as everyone, 2020 was so overwhelming and it just feels like it's carrying over. Um, there's a lot going on with like my mom and her cancer battle. And I actually had a missed miscarriage in December. I just found out um, I'm pregnant again, but I can't get rid of the insane amount of extreme anxiety I have that it's going to happen again. Mm. Like I just can't allow it to be good. You know what I mean? I do. I understand. Yeah. All right, my love. Well, let, first of all, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing this conversation to the table on Dear Gabby. When we talk about the fertility journey, if you haven't been through it, it's it's tough to understand because it's, it's, it's some people look, some people have it easy and they just get pregnant and they have babies and it's all. But then there's those of us who might have a little bit more trouble, whether it be trouble conceiving or if we've had a miscarriage or whatever it may be. And it's heartbreaking, truly heartbreaking. And the answer that I have for you is a spiritual answer. The absolute only way to move through the fertility process with full faith is to fully trust that the baby is part of the process, that the baby, the soul of the baby, the spirit of the baby has made a choice. And sometimes those babies make a commitment to come in for a short period of time. And sometimes they're like, I'm here to stay. But we have to recognize that it's not always up to us as the human having this human experience, but there are spirit babies out there who are making a decision to come through. And it's hard for our logical mind to accept that, right? Our logical mind is like, this is all science and it's our body and my body carries this way or my body carries that way or the baby wasn't healthy or all the freaking BS stories. But when you ground yourself and just, I want you to suspend your disbelief. I want you to suspend the disbelief in any, um, I know that you're spiritual because you're here on the show, but I want you to suspend any disbelief about what I'm saying, like any ego thought that's like, that's a bunch of bullshit, Gabby, like I, I had a miscarriage F you, right? I want you to just suspend that for a moment and, and play with me here, okay? What? How would you feel if I told you that you have these babies, these spirit babies, these these beings of light that want to come through and that at times they come through for a shorter period of time, like in the case of your of your miscarriage. And then in other cases, they come through to, to stick around. And that every soul has come through for whatever it is that that soul needs to fulfill. And you, as the mother, are a vessel through which that spirit can fulfill what their needs are. So while it's humanly extremely painful to lose a child and have a miscarriage, you also facilitated something for that soul and that experience here in the in the physical form. So I just want to acknowledge that first and foremost, that you did a service for that soul. The next thing I want you to start to accept and, and to embrace is the concept that the children come in the time and order that it is of the highest good for all. So while it may be a rocky road, whether it be a rocky road through IVF or a rocky road through miscarriage or a rocky road through infertility, you know, we call it infertility, that's a bunch of BS, but whatever you want to label it, the road and the pathway to get there is often in the pursuit of a timeline that is far greater than what we expected. Can you handle that idea? Yeah, I do. Okay, okay. okay. So now in this moment, you're pregnant again. Congratulations. I'm going to celebrate that with you, even though you feel anxious about it. Congratulations. Now you're pregnant again. And you have this fear of what happened could happen again. 
But I want to give you the opportunity to be present in this moment with what is. I want you to give give you the opportunity to recognize and acknowledge that no, no matter the outcome, you are on a journey of birthing. You in this moment are on a journey of birthing. And you are on a journey, not only of bringing forth life, but also a journey of radical surrender because there is no greater practice of surrender than being a woman who carries a child all the way through and then births that child and then parents that child and then brings that child out into the world through 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 elementary school and middle school and high school and college all the way through to the rest of their life. There is no greater act of surrender. And it starts now. It starts now. Because you will have you have children yet? I do not. So here's well, you do right now. You have one in your right now. Yeah. When you go through whatever your fertility journey may be, how easy or how difficult it may be, whatever it comes up for you, often is exactly as it needs to be to to help you face the fear-based belief systems and the needs to control outcomes and the desire to to have it your way at your time and the pain and the suffering so that as you develop as a mother, you can create a, a level of fierce faith. And what I want to remind us of is our card today, which was so absolutely perfect for you. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith sets in. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith sets in. And so that's what's required of you right now, my love to truly surrender your desire to the universe and allow that mighty force of faith to set in. Uh, What I want to do is I want to pray with you today because that is the prayer is the medium for miracles. Prayer is the conduit through which we surrender. And that's what what I want to give you today so that you can surrender to that faith and allow yourself to be in a trusting and knowing that what is of the highest good for all is happening and that the journey of conception all the way through to birth is a massive practice in being a mother. Because what you need to embrace more than anything through motherhood is surrender. Sure. Okay, so I don't want to take away the pain and I can't take away the suffering, but I can give you the opportunity to not relive it now. You with me on that? I'm with you. Okay, so let's pray. So just take a moment to close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And everybody that's listening, I want you to pray with me now for our beautiful, beautiful sister. And let me just get your name again, Mallory. Let's pray for Mallory together now. And everybody that's listening, whether this is in a month from now or or 10 years from now, this prayer is for Mallory and for all the mothers out there who are on the journey to delivering a healthy baby and who may be suffering, may be in fear, may be struggling to conceive. Wherever you are on this path, let's surrender this now to you. Let's open up to prayer for you. Let's give you the strength and the wisdom and the love and the guidance that you need to move through this journey of fertility. Mallory and all of the mamas out there all of the mamas to be, all of the mamas who want to be, all of the mamas who are scared, all of the mamas who have children that are young, old, however old they may be, may we open you all up today to the radical acceptance that being a mother is a transformational practice of surrender. We ask that all of the maternal angels and guides surround us now and hold us with a sense of safety and security and unwavering faith. We ask that our babies and our children in whatever form and age they are be protected, be cared for, be loved and be guided. We ask that our children's guides show up and intuitively work through us to support our children and work through our children so that they can be led by love. For all those mamas on the conception journey now, we say a prayer that you can be at peace in your mind and peace in your body, that all anxiety be removed, transformed, transmuted, and recycled, that all fear of the future be released so that only joy in this present moment can be restored. For Mallory, I pray that you can trust your body and trust your baby and trust your journey and welcome all of the 
infinite wisdom that this struggle has been and all of the infinite wisdom that this gift of pregnancy and forthcoming birth will be and is now. And I pray for you to take a deep breath and release any anxiety out into the world right now. And I want you to send it off and almost envision that anxiety being sent down into the ground and see it going into the earth and see it being alchemized and turned into light. It's going to become almost like fertilizer for the grass and for the earth. And take another deep breath in and send that anxiety down into the earth. See it turning into light, transformed and recycled. And take another deep breath in and send it down into the earth, transforming into light, transformed and recycled. And take a deep breath in and release. And when you're ready, open your eyes, Mallory. How do you feel right now? You took me from a nine to... I'm with Kimberly, a four. <laughs> a nine to a four through prayer. I hope you're enjoying this show. And if you want to get more Gabby, you can click the link below. Subscribe to my Dear Gabby podcast on Apple. Be the first to know when the episodes drop because they come out one week before the video. And you can download it to your phone. Listen to it while you're driving, while you're cooking, while you're working out. You can just get more Gabby wherever you are. And if you feel called, leave a review. I'd love to hear from you. Now let's get back to this episode. What I want you to do, my love, is when this podcast comes out, I want you to figure out the time code of that prayer. And I want you to, 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 to search it. And I want you to listen to it regularly. Okay? And I, I, I also uh, have uh, a gift I want to give you. Um, if you go to GabbyBernstein.com birthing affirmations, I'll put this in the show notes. I have these affirmations that I created that are uh, based on the practice of hypnobirthing, which is a practice that I did throughout my, throughout my pregnancy and into my delivery. And hypnobirthing is a practice of releasing stress and uh, transcending fear in the journey of fertility through, really th through pregnancy into conception, but it's great for anyone that's even wanting to birth somebody and working on it. And I have these free affirmations. It's a beautiful meditation affirmation guide that you can go to. And we'll put it in the show notes. Um, but for now, if you just Google Gabby Bernstein birthing affirmations, it'll come right up. And I want you to start listening to them now. Because even though you uh, are early in your pregnancy, I want you to start to visualize and listen and affirm what your body is capable of and that you can birth with ease and that your baby is well and safe. I really, really want you to do this. And I hope that these, uh, maybe it's something that you decide to do regularly to really ground yourself. And I also would recommend reading the book Hypnobirthing because it will really ground you right now in practices for regulating your thoughts so that you don't get overwhelmed with fear. Okay? And from one mama to another... And I've had a long journey this year and I've had many years before with my son to get to conceive my son. What I can tell you as an elder, as a mother, is that when you do conceive and that baby's in your arms, you look at that baby and you say, everything happened exactly as it was meant to. Because that child that is in your arms is the exact divine being that was meant to be with you. You hear me? Thank you so much. You're welcome, my love. You are so welcome. And you are so cared for. Thank you. How far along are you? Only five weeks. Awesome. All right. Well, let's let's I'm let's bored say, so I can go to a doctor. <laughs> listen, I am um I am really excited for you. You are driftwood for me. If you've ever heard me talk about it, when I when you uh, are wanting something and then you see it in somebody else, that's something I call dr that I've, I've in the manifesting world we call driftwood because it's like you're showing up for me to identify that that can be me too. So thank you for being a early in early pregnancy. Something really quick. Yeah. So I did your 21 day manifesting challenge, and one of the days you had to say like, "Universe, send me a sign." So. I wrote that day in my practice, um, show me a blue jay if 
a healthy pregnancy is in my future. Two days later, I look out my front window. It's the middle of winter and there's a blue jay in the tree. Can't make it up. Can't. Can't make it, it up. It's insane. Baby, you know, keep asking for your blue jays. Every time you see that blue jay, it's going to be a guided reminder. A guided reminder. Everything is happening exactly as it is meant to be, okay? Keep searching for those blue jays. Not even searching. Allowing. You don't look for it. They come to you. You got me? Ah, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful story. Thank you for sharing that. Keep letting those blue jays guide you every step of the way, okay? And I want you to, whenever you notice anxiety come up, and this is for everybody listening, whenever you notice that anxiety come up, I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to exhale and I want you to visualize it, eyes closed, visualize it going into the earth and turning into light. Because you, through your the power of your breath and the power of your creative visualization, you can alchemize that fear and that anxiety. You got it? Yeah. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, oh, God. Okay. Thank you, my Thank sweet. You. I cannot wait to witness you holding that baby into the world. And I'm so, so deeply proud of you and your bravery. And uh, also for coming through and speaking about something that is that something that we need to speak about far more often, because there's so many women who struggle with uh, the conception journey and, and uh, miscarriage, and we don't talk about it enough. We got to talk about it enough. And this is where we had the big talk here on Dear Gabby big talk people. If you like this video and you want to get more Gabby, check out the next one right over here.